Hey guys, this is Mike Trout with Click. Allow me a few minutes to show you how quickly I can move some apps and streams and data connections over from a ClickSense Enterprise Client Managed Environment over to a Click Cloud Analytics tenant. Luckily, I have the Click Analytics Migration Tool. I've already set up my connections between my Click Cloud tenant and my ClickSense Client Managed app. Now let's set up a quick migration plan. I'll just name this plan Move Sales and HR Plan. Click Create, and then we can click Edit. Here I can configure my source connection to Client Managed and my target connection to Click Cloud. Next, we can move over to Object Selection, and let's retrieve all objects from both environments. Now we can set up our mappings between our source and targets. In this example, you will see table mode. This is a toggle switch that will show you the different assets in each of the different environments. I'm not gonna worry about moving over users, but let's convert our streams from client managed over to shared spaces into the Click Cloud tenant. From the dropdown, since we already refreshed the object list, here are our streams. And we're gonna add those as shared spaces. This is our client managed view. Here is our cloud view. We can rename each of these. We'll call this one one dash QCA HR stream. And we'll call this one two dash sales space. I'm not gonna worry about roles and assignments because I'm already set up as the owner. We'll skip over Manage Spaces and Data Spaces and jump straight to Apps. Here you can see the apps that were recognized in those streams in the Client Manage toggle. Going to switch this over to the Cloud Mode. And you can see we have some information here we can edit. For the first one, we have Workforce Insights, which is the name of that app. We're just going to call it QC Dash. We're not going to put it within the personal space. We're not publishing it to a managed space. It is going to go into the one QCA space. Export type is without data. Export scope is approved. And we're gonna click save. We'll do the same for the next one. This is going into the sales space, to sales space, without data, and approved. Next, we're gonna move over to data connections. We had two data connections that were available these were the web provider connector packages for Dropbox. We're going to add those two data connections, toggle over to cloud, and we're going to look at some of the information for each of these connections. We could rename the connection here. For example, we no longer need to have the name desktop or the name of the computer that it was on. Connection type, Dropbox, owner, personal. We're going to say no, and we're going to put it into the space where the particular app is located for this particular user, which I know this connection is related to the HR stream. There isn't anything to be done with data files. Migrate, meaning yes, we do want to move this connection over. And then also we want to be able to update any apps that have references, for example, for connection types, for spaces, um, to use the appropriate connection name. So we're gonna change that to yes. And you can see if I hover over this, controls whether references to the data connection should be updated in app scripts of apps that are migrated. Click Save. I'm going to do the same thing for this one here. Just going to remove the name of the workstation. Turn off Personal for Sales Space for this connection. And choose on Update an App and click Save. At this point, we could now create our project. A project binds the connections and migration plan, and it defines the source and targets for tenants. You can have basically multiple projects containing different plans. Okay, so this one, we're gonna call this the Move Sales and HR Project. And select the migration plan and create standard jobs. We create the project, and now we move over to the jobs. And here are a default list of jobs. 
migrate users, create spaces, and assign members, migrate applications, etc. We're only going to run a few of these. So the first one we're going to run is the create space and assign members. So we'll let this run. While this is running, you can see steps that are going to run. You could also go and look at log information. If these fail, there's a way to view the log and the warnings as well. Okay, it's been completed. Let's move over to Click Cloud Analytics. You can now see the one QCA HR stream and the two sales space. Let's go back to the migration tool and let's run the next job called Migration Data Connections. Now I'm skipping over Migrate Applications because I want to show you how the connections are then set up within the spaces that we just defined. Okay, that one completed fairly quickly. If I select the one QCA HR stream, go to space details and go to connections, you can see the Dropbox connection that's been migrated over. And the same for the sales space. Next, we're going to go and migrate applications. Now this takes a little bit longer. Okay, this one completed and you can see completed with warnings. I can click on the information icon and click show log. And if we scroll down, we can see that the warning here is regarding a file that did not exist. This is simply because I did not run a user migration because we're just using my default tenant ID that I'm logged in with. Let's go to click cloud analytics and let's go to the space and there is the sales app. Let's go to the HR stream and there is the HR app. Now these are still not going to run because we do have one more step. I'm going to go into the HR app and I'm going to click on data load editor from click cloud analytics. And you can see that this is referencing the old data connection. If I go to the migration tool, you can see there's another job here called update application scripts. I'm going to click run on that. And what that's going to do is now update the appropriate path for the data access in each of those scripts. It is complete. I'm going to go back into the data load editor. And now you can see it has the correct reference for the space for the Dropbox connection. Now being that this is a web connector, I do have to re validate the authentication, save that connection. And now when I load this data, we have a migrated application and data connection and space or stream from ClickSense Enterprise Client Managed over to Click Cloud Analytics. And there it is. Drop your comments where this video is posted. Let me know what you think going to create a few more videos going into some more of this click analytics migration tool. Please note there are helpful resources on the move to cloud click learning page. And you'll notice that you'll have a link for the click analytics migration tool where you can learn more. And there's a bunch of modules and videos that can help you get started. All right, guys, take care and I'll see you on the next video.